Shalom, shalom, good evening, and welcome to day one of our prayer from Passover to Pentecost, prayer for the great rain, the outpouring of the Spirit over the nation of South Africa. Amen. It's such a privilege to be alive and to be a part of the history of what God is doing in our generations. My name is John Rosa. And we're coming to you from Falcon House in Rivonia, in the new church building where we are praying, where we'll be having these 50, um, three days of prayer. Amen. So it's good for those who are connecting with us from different platforms around the world uh, as we count down the uh, days of Pentecost in our generation. Amen. Um, some people wonder why we are starting so fast, why we're starting so early. This is actually the eve of the full moon. If you've been looking in the skyline, uh, the, you see the full moon is getting ready. And that full moon is a sign of the fullness of time. Hallelujah. And so the fullness of time of the feast of Passover. And the feast of Passover is the feast where uh, the Lamb of God was sacrificed 2,023 um, years ago. Hallelujah. So it's such a privilege that we are connecting to Passover with a fresh revelation and with a fresh hunger and with a fresh fire. You know, I was praying this afternoon. As I was just praying, I could just, I just felt the presence of the Lord so powerfully. And I saw a vision of an angel coming to me. And I'm like, who? And I just began to hear the Lord speak about maximizing this um, 53 days of prayer that we need to soak in his presence. Hallelujah. And that's why I quickly put out a word about maximizing. Don't just go on a hunger strike. Don't just fast without prayer in these 53 days. Welcome to all of you who are coming to the church. God bless you all. Amen. Uh, and, and we don't just want to have a, we fasted. It's not an intermittent fasting to lose weight. Hallelujah. Um, it's a fast to press into a spiritual stature, to, to press in for the rain of the spirit. So it's not just a fasting for, uh, for health benefit. It's a fasting for spiritual um, encounter. I would like to say encounter with Jesus, encounter of the Holy Spirit for the great rain. Amen. I just want to thank the Lord for the privilege uh, that we have had to connect to, to what the Lord is doing in this season. I was just thanking the Lord earlier as I was praying. I, I was grateful that the Lord did not allow us to be blind because the accident that happened in Bosburg last year, it was about raising a sacrifice of scattering, a, sc a sacrifice of mourning. And if that had succeeded, we would not have been able to see. There would have been too much smoke in the atmosphere. And the meeting wants us to see <coughs> what is on the wall of our nation, what is on the wall of our generation, what is on the wall. So I'm grateful that God did not allow the enemy to scatter us or to cause us to be blind or to be deaf, not to see what God is doing in 2023 from the nation of South Africa. Let me tell you, this assignment is beyond a local church or beyond the tabernacle of David. This is about the destiny of the church in South Africa. This is about the destiny of the continent of Africa. This is about the destiny of a generation. Let me say that again. This is about the destiny of the death of the nation of South Africa, the destiny of the church in South Africa and Africa, and the destiny of a generation. Every generation has specific things that God wants to accomplish through them. And I'm grateful that our generation is being is receiving grace to be able to latch on to what God is doing. The first prayer I want us to pray is the prayer of thanksgiving. I want us to thank the Lord for um, keeping us alive. I want us to thank the Lord for bringing us into alignment with the season that we are in. I want us to thank the Lord for bringing us into alignment with the season that we are in, the season that God has prepared <coughs> for 
this generation, for this nation, and for his that's the first prayer. Thanksgiving. That's the coming to his presence with Thanksgiving. We are thanking him for bringing us into divine alignment. It's alignment that, that is helping us to be able to walk with the Lord. It's alignment that's able to helping us to be able to pick up the signals of heaven. It is alignment. When you are aligned, you can see what the Lord is doing. When you are not aligned, you are not in place. You cannot see. So let us thank the Lord for the grace of divine alignment that is upon us. Even in this season, let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come with thanksgiving on behalf of the church in South Africa, on behalf of the nation in South Africa, on behalf of this generation, on behalf of the church and this continent of Africa, we come to say thank you. We come to say thank you for your preservation for our lives. We come to say thank you for your mercy upon us. We come to say thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have the liberty to pray, people. You can pray. You can pray at the top of your voice. Hallelujah. We want to thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the alignment. Thank you for the alignment. Thank you for aligning us. Thank you for aligning us. Thank you for aligning us. That my Father, oh God, in this year, we are not in slumber. We are not sleeping. That my Father, oh God, we are aligned to your will. We are aligned to your purpose. We are aligned to your voice. In the name of Jesus, we are aligned to your direction. We are aligned to your vision. We are aligned to what you are doing in heaven on behalf of this generation, on behalf of your church. We want to thank you for the alignment. We want to thank you for aligning us. The Bible says it is God that works in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus for the divine alignment that you have graced us. You have graced us to be truly aligned. You have graced us to be truly aligned. Aligned to your purpose. Aligned to the season. Aligned to the calling. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We want to bless you. In the name of Jesus. It is through this alignment of the church that will bring the nation into alignment. It is through the alignment of the church that will bring a generation into alignment. It is through the alignment of the church that will bring the continent into alignment. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus. When the sun, when the, when our planet is aligned to the sun properly, then the light of the sun is able to reach the earth. But when there is no alignment, then you have what you call the eclipse. You have the, you have the moment of darkness. Because we are aligned, we can be light. We can receive light and we can be light. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Because this prayer is coming from South Africa, the ground from which a revival has been promised to uh, the nations in Africa and in the rest of the world, I want us to thank God for the nation of South Africa. I want us to thank God that right now we don't have a civil war. I want us to thank God that right now that we can gather in the church. I want us to thank God for the nation of South Africa and the plans that God has. You can see that we have a flag of South Africa right now, here right now. We have to have a token, hallelujah, you know, a token that represents the nation in this place. I want us to thank God for the nation of South Africa where God has promised a global revival. I thank God for preservation. Thank God for the peace of South Africa. Thank God for the church in South Africa. Thank God for the watchmen. Thank God for the families in South Africa. Thank God for the things that he has planned for South Africa in 2023. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, on behalf of the nation of South Africa, where your voice is going forth, where your word is going forth, your word is going forth, my Father, from this nation to the body of Christ around the world, we want to thank you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank Thank you in the name of Jesus. Mekaba, Lato Zoka, Leketada, Budu Yamasa, Moklondo Brokate, Deli Kaduba, Mokoro Mosikata, Meklanda Baria, Makorobo Sokotoya. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for this nation, for the peace that we enjoy. Thank you for not allowing this nation right now to be in money. For not allowing this nation, my father, oh God, to be cut off. We want to thank you 
for the plans you have for South Africa. We want to thank you for your church in South Africa. We want to thank you for your calling over South Africa. We want to thank you for your grace that has abounded over South Africa in this season. We say thank you. We say thank you. On behalf of the church in South Africa, we say thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we want to bless you, the great I am. We worship you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for South Africa. We thank you. We thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. We're going to pray for the opening of South Africa. This prayer is very important. You know, most nations are closed up. <laughs> that is why the Bible says when Jesus came, there was no room for him. Um, most nations are spiritually closed. They are closed. Have you heard when you say somebody is closed? It means the person is not interacting. The person is not communicating because they are closed down. Many nations are spiritually closed down so that the light of God is not able to enter, so that the word of God is not going to, is not able to have a cause. It's not able to run its cause. We're going to pray. Father, we'll come to pray for the opening of South Africa, the opening of the heavens of South Africa, the opening of the land of South Africa, the opening of the mountains, the opening of the waters. Have you heard what the Bible said? And the heavens were opened. We're going to pray. Father, we'll come to pray for the opening of South Africa, the opening of the families, the opening of the economy, the opening for the light of God, for the word of the Lord, because a rain is coming. But if the rain comes and the land is not open and the heavens are not open and the land and, 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 and the communities in South Africa are not open, where is the rain going to go? So we are going to pray and say, Father, we'll come to pray for the opening of South Africa. Let the heavens be open for the rain of God. Let the waters be open, the waterways be open. Let the land and the seven layers of the land be open. Let the mountains be open. Let families be open. Let the economy be open because the rain of God, when it begins to come down, it will come upon the economy. People in the economy, people will be in their marketplaces. They, they will they, they'll, they'll feel the presence of God. The God will not be locked out of doing business in South Africa. Oh, pray for the opening of government, that the reign of God will come upon government so that we can have righteous people in government, so that in parliament, somebody will be uh, speaking in parliament and doing, and, and all of a sudden, the job begin to pray in tongues, or the job begin to say, we bless the name of the Lord in this parliament. Oh, na hallelujah. We've got to pray. This nation has been, many nations are locked down. We are praying for the opening, the opening of the nation, of the seven mountains, let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come to pray for the opening of South Africa in preparation, my Father, oh God, even for the, the reigns of the Lord. We come to pray for the opening. My Father, oh God, at this gate of this full moon, at this gate of this Passover, we come to pray for the opening of the gates of South Africa. Pray for the opening of the gates of South Africa. Pray for the opening of the gates of the church in South Africa. Pray for the opening of the gates of the heavens. Pray for the opening of the gates of the land. Pray for the opening of the gates of the waters. The Bible says the gates of the waters shall be opened and the palaces shall be dissolved. There are gates everywhere. My Father, oh God, in this season of fasting, we pray for the opening. 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 We pray for the opening of the South Africa. We pray for the opening of the gates. 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 Let the gates be lifted. Let the gates be open. We pray for the opening. We pray for the opening of the gates of South Africa, the gates of the heavens, the gates of the waters, the gates of the land, the gates of the families, the gates of the mountains. In the name of Jesus, for the dew of the Lord, for the reign of the Lord, for the voice of the Lord. We pray for the opening of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let the heavens of South Africa be open for the rains that God has prepared. There is a rain prepared. There is a rain prepared. There is a rain prepared. We pray that the heavens be open. Let every strange cloud be removed. Let every strange water be removed. Let every strange throne be removed. In the name of Jesus, over the heavens of South Africa, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the opening. We pray for the opening of the heavens over South Africa. We pray for the opening of the heavens over this nation. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the opening of the waterways. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the opening of the land. We pray for the opening on the mountain tops. In the name of Jesus, every mountain range over South Africa, we pray for the opening. In the name 
name of Jesus, let the veils of darkness that have been set over the mountains, let the veils of darkness that have been set over the water, the veils of darkness that have been set over the land, over the heavens, let them be folded away in the name of Jesus for the great rain, for the great rain that God has prepared in the name of Jesus, for the rain prepared, for the rains that the Lord has prepared, the rains, the rain of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the opening. We declare the name of the Lord. 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 We declare the name of the Lord over the heavens of South Africa. Somebody declare the name of the Lord. Say, I declare the name of the Lord over the heavens, over the waters, over the land, over the mountains of South Africa. We declare the name of the Lord over the church in South Africa, over the families, over the government, over the economy, over the media mountain. We declare the name of the Lord over the over the educational mountain in the name of Jesus, over the celebration mountain. We declare the name of the Lord. We declare the name of the Lord. We decree an opening. We decree an opening of the spaces and the places over South Africa in the name of Jesus for the great rain appointed for the great rain prepared for the great rain for the great move of the spirit we decree and declare an opening in the name of Jesus of this nation we decree South Africa be open we decree South Africa be open we decree South Africa be open for the reign of God Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I hear a word in the spirit. The word of the Lord. I say, I hear the word says, My wind will, will precede my rain. My wind will precede my rain. There's a wind that will go forth first before the rains of God will come. But I also hear that we should pray that South Africa be plugged into the highway of this Passover. There's a highway in the spirit for Passover 2023. There is a highway. We are going to pray that this nation be plugged into it. Hallelujah. That this nation will be plugged into the highways that God has set up for 2023 Passover. There is a spiritual highway. There is a spiritual highway that South Africa will be plugged into it. The heavens of South Africa, the water of South Africa, the land, the mountains, the families in it, the government in it, so that what God is doing in this 2023 Passover, the things that are in the spirit, that is, as it is being released, that South Africa will be plugged into it to benefit, to receive, to partake in it. You see, when nations sign treaties, when nations sign agreement with the United Nations, <laughs> when you have a rep at the United, you must have a rep, a rep at the United Nations that will sign you into those treaties. And when you are signed in, whatever is rolled out, it falls on you. When we do not pray, what is being released over the nations in this season will not reach us. Things are not automatic. Automatic. That's why God said, ask, you shall receive. Things are not automatic. That's why God said, pray, and you shall get. So we're going to pray. Father, we are praying right now to, to, for South Africa to be plugged in. South Africa will not be plugged in. Let me tell you, uh, let me tell you something. When Muslims do their Ramadan um, fasting, what they are trying to do is to renew the covenant of their religion over their territories. And what they are doing by that fasting and prayer, they are plugging that territory into the highway of what they are doing. So it is when all other religions, when they do their rituals, when they do, because all religions have their fasting, they have the thing that where they abstain from food, they plug that territory into uh, what they are praying into. Through our praying and fasting, we are praying to plug in the nation of South Africa into the highway of the Holy Spirit, into the highway of God in this Passover. So that when God comes through, he said on, in Passover in Egypt, he said, I will pass through the land. I will pass through the land. When we plug South Africa into the highway of God in this Passover, there are things that are going to happen in this Passover. 
river. God will pass through this land. God will pass through the waters. God will pass through the heavens. God will pass through the mountains. And when he will pass through, there are things that are going to happen. He's going to judge those that will not allow South Africa to move forward. He's going to judge the altars, the thrones, the powers that do not allow his will his people to, to progress in their prophecy, to progress in their destiny. He's going to judge. He said, I will pass through the land and I will judge the gods of the land. I will judge the thrones of the land. And he did it. The reason that was able to happen was because that nation, that territory was plugged into the move of God. It, what happened in Egypt at that time did not happen in the neighboring nations. It didn't happen. It only happened in Egypt because Egypt was plugged into the prophecy. Egypt was plugged into the move of God through Moses and Aaron and the sacrifices that they raised through the, uh, the, the blood that was released over the land. So we are going to pray. We come to plug in South Africa. We come to plug in this nation into Passover, into the move of God, into the way of God, into the sword of God, into the move of the Spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we want to thank you. We are excited, oh God, that when a nation is plugged into the highways of God, my Father, oh God, we will see your move. We will see your signs. We will see your fire. We come to pray. We come to plug in South Africa. We come to plug in South Africa into the highways of God for 2023. My Father, Passover and Pentecost. We come to plug in this nation. We come to plug in this nation. We come to plug in the heavens. We come to plug in the waters, the waterways. We come to plug in the mountains. We come to plug in the land. In the name of Jesus, into this Passover, into this Passover, we plug in South Africa. We plug in South Africa. We plug in South Africa into the ways of God, into the great move of God, even in this year. In the name of Jesus, we plug in South Africa. We plug in South Africa. We plug in the winds. We plug in the east gate, the north gate, the south gate, the west gate. We plug in the mountains. We plug in the waters. We plug in the land. We plug in the government. We plug in the media. We plug in the economies. We plug in the families. We plug in the educational sector. We plug it in into this way of God. We plug it into the highways, into the highways of the Lord for 2023 Passover, for the great reign of God, that there will be no place where the move of God will not be felt in South Africa in this year, that there will be no place, there will be no place separated, there will be no place separated, there will be no place removed in the name of Jesus from the move of God, from the work of God, even in this nation, that every part of this nation will feel the impact we feel the rain, the rain of God. We touch every part of this nation in the name of Jesus. There will be no sacred shrine. There will be no sacred river. There will be no sacred throne. There will be no sacred places where the move of God will not be felt. Even in this place, even in this nation, in the name of Jesus, we pray, my Father, we plug in South Africa to the highways of God. We plug in South Africa to the the highways of God, in the name of Jesus, that my Father, in this year, South Africa, we experience, oh God, the reign of God, that in this year, every inch of this nation, every piece of land, every piece of the mountain, every piece of the heaven, we experience, oh God, your reign, we experience your voice, in the name of Jesus, South Africa, we plug you in, South Africa, we plug you in, we block you in, we plug you in, we plug you in, we plug you into the highways of God. We plug into the highways of God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. When you pray that prayer, that South Africa be plugged into the highways of God. It means to say, God himself will begin to go forth. There will be no place where you say, oh, uh, the move of God was not felt. Oh, it was only happening in Johannesburg. No, every part of this land will experience the reign of God. Because let me tell you, there are some times it can rain in a city. It, it rains in one part, 
It doesn't rain in another part. Uh, uh, it can snow here. It didn't snow there. Not, we are not praying that. We are praying that every part of this land will be saturated with the rain of God. Every part of this land will feel the presence of God. <coughs> those in government, those in schools, those in the marketplace, those in their family places, those in the media, wherever they are, the move of God will be felt. The rain of God will come down over the nation of South Africa. We are commanding the gates of South Africa to be lifted for the King of Glory to come in through this Passover. We are decreeing and declaring, lift up your head, O ye gates of South Africa. Be lifted, ye everlasting doors, for the King of Glory is coming in, even at this Passover, in the name of the Lord Jesus. You've got to understand that Passover is warfare. Passover is not a peaceful season. It's war. Because at Passover in Egypt, people died. It was wailing. At Passover on the cross, what happened? Satan was dispossessed. It was war. His blood warred. His blood went to war. So you've got to understand that Passover is high tension season. Passover is a season of, is a portal of freedom, but it's a portal of war. So the man of war goes out. So that's why we are saying, let it be open so that the man of war can come forth so that the one who goes forth with his garment dyed with blood can go forth. I want you to understand that this is the season of the execution of the judgment of God. That judgment will go across the land. That is what Passover means. Passover is not just a time of holding conferences and being rhetorical. Passover is a season of shaking. So we are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, in this Passover, we pray, oh God, that under the waters let your judgment fall upon the mountains let your judgment fall across the length and breadth of South Africa we are praying we are praying for the sword of God to go forth we are praying for the shaking of God to go forth because without this without this shaking the people cannot move forward without this shaking the nation cannot move forward there are things that need to be shaken at this Passover there are thrones that need to be shaken there are places where the hand of God must be heavy upon at this Passover. We need to shift our mind that Passover is not just a season of waiting to eat Easter eggs. It's not a season to just come and have a celebration. It's a season for a shaking. Let us pray. Let the sword of God go forth. Let the hand of God go forth. Let the judgment of God go forth at this Passover so that the people of God can move forward. The church of God can move forward. We can move into prophecy. We can move. The nation of South Africa can move into our prophetic destiny. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we want to pray, oh God, we want to experience real Passover. Somebody pray. We want to experience Passover at its original meaning. Passover at its real meaning. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We don't want to just experience letter of Passover. We want to experience the spirit of Passover. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Over our lives. Over our families. Over your church. Over the nations of South Africa. Over the continent of Africa. There are strongholds. There are strong men that my father, oh God, will not allow this nation to move forward. That will not allow your people to move forward. There are people who need to move forward. This Passover, you are moving forward. This Passover, your marriage will move forward. This Passover, your destiny will move forward. This Passover, this nation will move forward. This Passover, your business will move forward. This Passover, whatever stronghold that the enemy have set, that have not allowed you to see the harvest, to see the labor that God has given you to labor. This Passover, there must be a shaking. This Passover, there must be a change. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to pray that in this Passover, we want to experience the power of your spirit. We want to experience your visitation. We want to experience your judgment. We want to experience your sword. We want to experience your reign. We want to experience your move in the name of Jesus. In this Passover, whatever stands between your church and its prophecy, whatever stands between families and their prophecy, whatever stands between nations and their prophecy, at this Passover, let those thrones be removed. Let those powers be removed. In the name of Jesus, at this Passover, arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Arise for South Africa. Arise for your church. Arise for Africa. Arise for your people. Arise. 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 Somebody pray that God will arise in this Passover. That the Lord will arise 
to deliver his people, that the Lord will arise to shake nations, that he will arise, even though he sent a great prophet like Moses, but it was not enough. Even though God sent great prophets and great priests like Aaron, but that was not enough. He had to come by himself. He had to come by himself. My father, in the name of Jesus, at this Passover, we cry out that you will arise, that you will arise, that you will arise for your people, that you will arise for your nation, that you will arise for your church, that you will arise for your creation. Arise, arise, in the name of Jesus, let the head of the serpent be crushed. Arise, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let all those that have held down your church, that have held down your nations, that have held down your people, let them be shaken. We cry out that you will arise, that you will arise in the name of Jesus in this Passover. That my Father, oh God, your people will hear, your people will see your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Pray that God will stretch forth his hand. Pray that God will stretch forth his hand over South Africa. God will stretch forth his hand over the nations. God will stretch his hand over the heavens. Stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. Your hand that is mighty in the name of Jesus. In this Passover. Yes, Lord! <coughs> Stretch your hand for signs and wonders. Two great miracles. <coughs> Plague the wicked in this Passover. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Stretch your hands, oh God. Yes! Stretch your hands. You know, God said to Moses, Stretch your rod over the Red Sea. Passover is not a joke. Passover is war. Thank you. Hallelujah. Passover is war. God might have sent a great prophet by Moses, giving him great rod. But God had to come down. We want to see the Lord come down. In this Passover, there are, you need to move forward. Your nation needs to move forward. This nation needs to move forward. We have heard prophecies, but those prophecies cannot come to pass except there is a shaking, except God comes, except God comes down. This Passover is about that. It's about that shaking. We want God to arise. He said, Lord, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. If God did not come down at Passover, Pharaoh was not going to let Israel go. Even though there was a great prophet, thank God for the prophets that have been sent to bring the word of the Lord. Thank God for the prophets that God has given authority for signs and wonders. But there is a place where God comes down. There is a place where God comes down. He came down to, 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 to be sacrificed in Calvary. He, hallelujah. He came down. He could have thrown to us a ram from heaven and said, sacrifice this. He, he came down. So there's a place you've got to know that God has to come down. If he doesn't come down, he wouldn't have taken the title man of war. If he's not ready to come down, he wouldn't have taken the title the one who goes to war, who leads the people to war. He comes, he fights. So when I when you read my article talking about how he fought on the way to heaven and made an open show of Satan, it's not the first time we've seen him. That was he comes with Edom with dye garment. It means to say that all his cloth is turned red from the blood of the people that refused to obey him. It was his garment became dyed red. We are going to cry to the Lord. So arise for me in this Passover. So that because you don't want rain to come. And the strong one over you does not allow you to enjoy rain because they've covered you. Arise for me in this Passover and shake off every Pharaoh. Shake off the hands of Pharaoh over my life. Arise for me, O oh God. Arise for my nation. Arise for my family. Arise for me in the name of Jesus. Lord, this Passover, do not let it pass me by. Do not allow your hand to pass me by. Do not allow your move to pass me by. Do not allow your signs to pass me by. Arise. You know, blind Bartimaeus cried. Jesus was passing by. Blind Bartimaeus cried and said, oh Lord, oh, is so it what you want? I want to see. You've got to cry. The Lord is passing by. This Passover, he is going to pass by land. South Africa has been plugged into the highways of God. 
when you cry, as he's passing by, he will remember your house. He will remember your life. He will remember your family. He will remember your city. He will remember your ministry. He will remember your nation. Let us cry. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to cry out. Let our voices be heard at this Passover, crying for the Lord, crying, my Father, oh God, that you will remove from us all of the hands that have covered us, all of the struggles that have been set against us. We come to cry out. We cry out. We cry out. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my Father, oh God, that this Passover, my Father will not pass us by without the hand of God, without the move of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, reaching us, we cry out that this Passover, my Father, oh God, we will experience you, that you will arise for us against the enemies that are too strong for us, that you will arise for our cities, you will arise for our nation, you will arise for your word. In the name of Jesus, arise over South Africa, arise over Africa, arise over Jehovah. Hannesburg, arise over your people, arise over us, arise, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we come to cry out that my father at this Passover, that you will release, oh God, your voice, your sword, your judgment, that you will release your wrath, in the name of Jesus, that your wrath will be felt at this Passover, in the name of Jesus, we come to cry out that this Passover will be a turning point, that this Passover will be a turning point in our lives, in our nations, in South Africa, a turning point. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the things that have held this nation, the things that have held on your church, the things that have held on your people, I see prison open, I see prison open in this Passover, the portal of freedom, whatever stronghold that have held you down, whatever stronghold that have held down your nation, whatever stronghold that have held down South Africa, at this Passover, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, untie, 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 untie the prisoners, untie the nations, untie your people, untie them in the name of Jesus, untie nations, untie cities, untie your people, untie families, in the name of Jesus, we come to pray, oh God, that you will untie, that you will untie wherever this nation have been tied, wherever your people have been tied, pass over. It's a portal of freedom. Passover is a portal of freedom. Passover is a portal of freedom. We cry out like blind Bartimaeus. Don't pass us by in this Passover. In the name of Jesus, you return. You return. You return. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have not started fasting, your obedience is not complete. If you have not started fasting, your obedience is not complete. Your obedience has to be complete. The word that went out is with fasting and prayer. Even if you have a medical condition, you can eat less food. Hallelujah. You can drink juice. You can do, but let your obedience be complete before you can see God move for you. And one of the things you need to pray in this season, because from this Passover, we are going to come into the move of the spirit. We're going to come into a greater stature of the spirit. You need to empty yourself of bitterness. Empty yourself of uncleanliness. Empty yourself of vanity. As you are going through this fast, I want you to pray. Lord, I come to ask you, cleanse me from every vanity. Cleanse my soul from vanity. The Bible says, who can come to the mountain of the Lord? He that has pure heart, clean hands. You need to ask the Lord, Father, every vanity that is stuck in my ears, in my eyes, in my soul, in my memory, wherever, oh God, there is bitterness in me, I ask you to cleanse me, deliver me from every attachment of bitterness, of uncleanness, so that the river of God, the rain of God can fill me up, so I can increase in the measure of the Spirit. I want you to pray those prayers as you are in this fasting. I tell you, if you cry to God to cleanse you, he is so eager to cleanse you. He wants your vessel ready to be able to receive the rain of God. He wants your vessel to be ready to be able to receive the infilling, a fresh infilling, a fresh rain. If your vessel is not ready, if your vessel is caught up in lust, if your vessel is caught up in bitterness, if your vessel is caught up in, in bitterness, in unforgiveness, that is a pharaoh, that is an oppression. You will not be able to, you will not be able to experience the liberty, you will not be able to experience the rains that God wants to pour. 
you will be weak. Your inheritance will not be confirmed. Your work will not be confirmed. I just want you to take the prayer of sanctification serious in this season. Ask God, every bitterness in me, every unforgiveness in me, every lust in me, every wickedness in me, whatever is in my soul, in my spirit, in my mind that is not of God, and this season, I ask you to purge me so that I can be ready to receive fresh rain. I can be ready to receive fresh impartation of the Spirit of God at this Passover in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you ready? We're going to pray. Yes, Lord. John the Baptist, uh, John the Apostle in the island of Patmos. <laughs> the Bible says in Revelation chapter 1, in the day of the Lord, that he was not rightly positioned. The Bible says he had to turn back. You're going to pray for, Lord, help me to be rightly positioned for this pass over to Pentecost. Right now, we have come into a season, a high spiritual season. Even in the day of the Lord, you can be wrongly positioned. It's, I heard a voice behind me and I had to turn. Do you know that you, it is disrespectful to have your back to the Lord when he speaks to you? That is why in Israel, when they go to the temple, when they are leaving the Jews, they don't leave turning their back. They, there's a way they walk. They are especially the priest that goes into the holies of holies. You cannot have your back to the Lord. You're going to pray. Father, in this Passover to Pentecost, I pray for the grace to be rightly positioned. Rightly positioned for encounter. Rightly positioned for prayer. Rightly positioned for revelation. Rightly positioned for the reign of God to locate me. You need to, Lord, position me. If I'm not rightly positioned, he heard the voice. He turned to see who was talking to him. God wants you to see him. God wants you to see him as he speaks to you face to face. God wants you to engage him face to face at this Passover to Pentecost. We're going to pray. Father, help me to be rightly positioned. Some of you can be wrongly positioned in your mind, wrongly positioned in the spirit, wrongly positioned. Oh, there was somebody that was in a service on Sunday, and I began to speak. I said, there are, I, I took, a, um, I took a, a, a plant from a friend's place. When I took that plant, he said to me, when you plant this in your garden, I went to go and plant that stem in my garden. He said, don't water it with the water that comes from the tap, it has too much chlorine. He said, water it with bottled water. Go to the shop and buy water, bottled water. It has less chlorine. There are some rain that is not good for you. Hey! You might be under some, you might be positioned in a place where the rain that is locating you right now is not the right rain for your life. It's not the right rain for what God has planted in you. You need to be repositioned. Hey! You need to be what? Repositioned for the right reign, for the right encounter, for the right visitation. You need to be what? Repositioned. We're going to pray. Father, help me to be rightly positioned for this Passover to Pentecost. Help me to be rightly positioned. Some of you right now might have packed your bags. You are traveling to Holland, traveling to London, traveling to America, traveling to Umtata, traveling to all kinds of places, and you are not positioned. And that traveling will disposition, we, we dis, we displace you. I want us to pray, Father, in this Passover to Pentecost, help me to be rightly positioned for the things, the people I will meet. There are angels coming to you, but if you are not rightly positioned, you will miss them. Some of you, you are going to be praying. And as you are praying, when you are at the position, when you are praying, angelic traffic around let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I come to pray. Rightly positioned. Throw out this Passover to Pentecost. Spiritually positioned. Mentally positioned. Physically positioned. Spiritually positioned. In the name of Jesus, my Father, oh God, we want to be positioned, oh God, for your voice. We want to be positioned for conversations. We want to be positioned for encounters. We want to be positioned in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can partake in that which you are doing. 
position of yes lord some people have been held down they want to move but there are strongholds that will not allow them to move every stronghold that the enemy has set for you that will not allow you to be rightly positioned i break it off in the name of the lord jesus whatever power that has held you down that will not allow you to be rightly positioned in this season i come to decree it be shaken off in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree and i declare over you in this season that you be rightly positioned you be rightly positioned somebody pray father i want to be positioned i want to be spiritually positioned for this passover pentecost i want to be rightly positioned Hey, Lagaya, on the day when the Holy Spirit came down, on the day when Pentecost came, some people were not in the upper room. On the day when Jesus visited, Thomas was not there. Some people were not positioned. My father, help me to be rightly positioned. Every power that will not allow me to be positioned, let it be removed. Every hand, every circumstance that the enemy has set over my life that will not allow me to be rightly positioned. Father, let them be broken off. In the name of the Lord Jesus, help me to be positioned. Help me to be positioned. In these 53 days, do not allow me to miss divine positioning. Do not allow me to miss divine positioning. Let me be rightly positioned in my mind with the right thought, with the right spirit. Help me to be rightly positioned in my prayer. Help me to be rightly positioned in my conversation. Help me to be rightly positioned in my going and coming out. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That I will not miss my appointment. That I will all not miss a thing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Rightly positioned. Rightly positioned. Positioned by your wind. Positioned by your spirit. Positioned by your hand. Mokoda. Mazigadeya. Heklodorokosa. Mikotosoka. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Help us to be rightly positioned. Help us to be rightly positioned. For your voice. For your hand. For the act of your spirit in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus father we thank you we thank you we thank you that my father oh God in these 53 days we will come out oh God we will come out my father oh God in a different flavor we will come out my father in a different dimension we will come out my father oh God hey activate it in the name of the Lord Jesus, my Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' precious name, amen. We're going to pray. Father, help me to be opened up. Help my home to be opened up for the reign of your spirit. Help me to be open. Some people are spiritually closed. As a pastor, I know that. There are people who come to church. They can sit in a church for 10 years. No change. No transformation. You know why? They are closed. They are closed. Their house is closed. Good things don't come in. What they depend on salary only. Depend on just nothing, nothing spectacular. It's just same, same. You're going to pray, Father, open me up. Open me up. Open my home up. Open my family up so that the wind of God that is coming first and the rain that we follow, my Father, oh God, I will be drenched in it. I will be soaked in it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I hear the Lord say, pray that you will be opened up. Pray that your home be opened up. Pray that your spirit be opened up. Pray that your mind be opened up. Pray there are gifts in your life. There are things that God has planted. When this rain comes down upon you, there are things that are going to begin to grow in your life. When this rain comes down upon South Africa, there are things that God has planted in the land of South Africa that will begin to come upon. There are some things that the land has, it has just gone bottom, bottom, bottom. But when it begins to rain, do you know that every time it rains, the seed that farmers plant begins to grow? If what men plant can grow, what about the things God has planted? Who is the first person that planted things on earth? Is it not God? There are things that God has planted that have not grown, that have not come out of the land because the rain of God didn't come upon the land. But when we begin to pray and the rain of God begins to come, it will begin to grow. So also it's your life. That's why the Lord said we should pray for the land to be opened up so that the covering that have been set over the land, he said on this mountain, I will make a feast and I will remove the covering cast that have been set over nations. The nations are on that covering, under the covering cast of darkness. That's why God said, pray for the opening. Also, people are under. He said, if our gospel is hid, is hid from those that the prince of this world has blinded, he has covered. You are going to pray. Father, open me up to experience, oh God, the rain. Open my home. 
open my spirit to experience, oh God, the wind of God, the rain of God in this fast. Open me up to experience the voice of God, to experience the light of God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to pray, oh God, that even in these 53 days, we come to pray for the opening of your spirit. Open us up. Open our home. Open our spirit. Open our mind. Open my eyes. Open my ears. In the name of Jesus, open my home. Up. We come to pray, oh God. Yes, you need God to open you up. You need angels to open your home. There are some doors that have been shut. There are spiritual doors in your home that have been locked. But when God begins to open your home, there are angels that will go to your house to open up. That when Passover was going to start, Passover started with individuals, then it went to, to homes. Homes and individuals. He said, put the blood upon the post of your house. My father, we pray. Pray for angels to come and unlock the gate of your house and open your house up for the reign of God that is prepared to be released over South Africa. It will not pass you by. Pray that God will open you up. Open your spirit. Open your mind in the name of the Lord Jesus. Open us up. Open us up. Open us up in the name of the Lord Jesus for this reign. Wherever you've been closed down, open me up, oh God. Open me, open my spirit, open my heart, open my mind, open my home in the name of Jesus. Open my office in the name of Jesus for the wind of God, for the rain of God. We pray for the opening, we pray for the opening, we pray for the opening. We will not be locked out, we will not be locked out. Our homes will not be locked out, our marriages will not be locked out, our families will not be locked out, our children will not be locked out, our communities will not be locked out, our nation will not be locked out of this Passover, of this great rain. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray for opening. I tell you that angels are coming to your house to open the doors of your house. If you pray this prayer with all your heart, Father, open my house. Open. Let the doors, let the doors, let the doors of my home be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Let it be open for the reign of God. Let it be open for the wind of God. Let it be open for the great act of God in the name of Jesus open my life open my spirit open my mind open my understanding open my ears open my eyes in the name of Jesus I pray for the opening of the spirit I pray for the opening of the spirit in the name of Jesus the, the opening that is enabled by God deep places in your life are going to be open God is going to open you up to the great rain God is going to open you up to this great rain through this great rain through this fasting there are things Father we thank you we bless you we give you praise in Jesus name Amen. This is prayer for this preparation of this of this Pentecost. This is prayer for pe preparation. Let me tell you, when you are expecting a great visitor, what do you do? You clean up. You clean up. And this clean up begins with you. Begins with your household. As you pray for this prayer of open, open me up. Do you know the mystery surrounding your life? Do you know the mysteries in your flesh? Do you know the mysteries in your spirit? Do you know the mysteries that are around you that you do not see? Do you know? Hey, hey. When the Bible says in Hebrews 12, that uh, Hebrews 4, 12, that the word of God is powerful and there is nothing that is hid before it. Then, let me tell you, you can be in a place and there can be spirits there that you are not seeing them. But when you begin to confront them and say, whatever is in this vicinity that my eyes cannot see, I come to confront you in the name of Jesus. I confront you. You begin to see things move. I have seen it. I have seen it. I stood somewhere one day and I began to pray. And as I was praying, as I was praying, all of a sudden, I saw two birds. Two birds. It represents two people. They flew out of a place. They were there all along. I didn't see them. But when I began to activate the word of God, speaking to the atmosphere, that whatever here, that is here, my eyes can see it. But the Bible says that the word of God, nothing can be hid. I come to confront you in the name of Jesus. Whatever is hidden, whatever 
is hiding in this atmosphere, I confront you in the name of Jesus. I confront you by the blood of Jesus. Things began to fly. God wants to fill you. But he doesn't want to fill you and retain nonsense. You are going to pray. My father, as I come into this Passover, as I come into this Passover, I come to ask you, God, empty out of me, empty out of my body, sicknesses, afflictions, evil plantings, whatever you have not planted. You don't want to enter this Passover carrying things that have weighed you down, carrying things that have troubled your life. God knows what is in your body. It, there are marks that must be erased. Mark that the enemy used to identify you. Yeah. You want to come into this Passover, you want to come into this Pentecost, a fresh being. You don't want to come in that there's no room. You know there are some, take for example now, you see this cup. Of, eh? This cup is full of water up to this place. You cannot put so much water except you empty it. Some people are, are full of anger. Some people are full of witchcraft. Some people are full of lust. Some people are full of fear. Up to 80%. Just 20% is what is left. God doesn't want that. You need to pray. Father, empty me of whatever will not allow me to receive the fullness of your spirit. Whatever will not allow me to receive the fullness of the reign of God. Whatever will not allow me to receive my Father, oh God, the greater stature. Empty me as I come into this Passover, as I come through this fast. I am praying first to be emptied before I can receive fresh rain, before I can receive fresh outpouring of the Spirit. I don't want to be a spectator in this Pentecost. I don't want to be a spectator to hear what God did through some people. I want to be a part of it, but I cannot be a part of it if my body is carrying the wrong things, if my spirit is carrying the wrong things, I want to be emptied. Let me tell you, as you pray this prayer, there are things that will leave your body. There are, there are strange water you have drank from in the loins of your father. Strange rivers that must dry out of your body. Strange rivers that are in your bloodline that must dry out, that makes you thirsty for, for smoke, that makes you thirsty for alcohol. When some people, when that face begins to come up because of what is inside of them, oh, they begin to desire all kinds of things. You, you can, you don't, you, for you to receive fresh water, fresh rain, you need to be emptied. Ask God at this fire to empty you of the things that does not allow space for God to truly be full, full of you in this season. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are preparing for the great rain. We want to be great vessels. The Bible says in the great house, there are many vessels, but the vessel that have been cleansed is the vessel that we become the vessel of honor. My Father, we present our vessel. We present our vessels. We present our vessels for cleansing. Lord, cleanse out sicknesses. Cleanse out affliction. Cleanse out what you've not planted. In the name of Jesus, we are the vessels that we carry the rain. We are the vessel that we carry your spirit. We are the vessel that will be your instrument through this move in South Africa across the world. We are the vessels that you are going to use. We don't want to carry anger into this move. We don't want to carry lust into this move. You don't want to carry covetousness into this move. We don't want to carry strange gift into this move. We don't want to carry my father strange fire into this move. My father, empty, empty us of everything you've not planted. Empty, empty out of our eyes. Empty strange gifts. Empty divination. Empty my father witchcraft. Empty lust. Empty fear. Empty unbelief. Whatever it is that has empty religion, there are some of us. We are full of religion. You cannot partake in the reign of God. You cannot partake in the fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let pray, Lord, empty me of the spirit of religion. Empty me of everything that does not oh God pertain, that does not resemble your spirit, that does not resemble Christ. I want to be emptied so that I can be free, so that I can be available for the fresh rain. I can be available for the fresh outpouring of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, we cry out. We cry out in the name of Jesus. Lord, remove sickness from us. Remove, oh God. There are some of your people right now, they cannot participate in this fast and they should participate because they have been loaded with sickness. They are carrying all kinds of things. We 
begin to pray that the wind of your spirit will begin to blow. Empty us, empty us, empty, empty our homes, empty our houses, empty our gates of whatever it is that will not allow us to maximize this, oh God, fasting in the name of Jesus. This is a fast that is different. This is the third year of the third decade of the third millennium. We are crying out. We are crying out. We are crying out. In the name of Jesus, we cry out, Lord, empty, empty your people, empty, empty darkness, empty darkness out of the people, out of their homes, out of their lives. In the name of Jesus, cut off, oh God, every attachment that will not allow your people to come into the rain, that will not allow your people to come into the move of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, makro do yamaka, rika kondozoka, rigle de basia, reke pandozoko, rikada la, zeklondoya, marobo seklete, rikanda liga, reke balagadia, mokorobo seklete, magle proskoshkita, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We are going to pray. Father, you are Alpha and you are Omega. Help me through these 53 days to start and to finish. There shall be no death. There shall be no abortion of purpose. Help me, my Father, as I have begun this prayer. I want to end it. Do not allow me to be removed. Do not allow me to be cut off. Do not allow me to fall into temptation. There are some people doing a fast like this. All kinds of temptation creeps upon. And when they fall into those temptations, they become discouraged to continue. To say, oh, I'm falling. I don't want to fast anymore. No, you're going to pray. Father, help me, oh God, to, come, to start these 53 days. I want to be a part of the history. And I want to be a part, I want to be the best. I want to be a part of the best. Do you know that God measures sacrifices? Do you know that sacrifices are measured spiritually? Mm -hmm. There was a time the Lord told me, he said, until the sacrifice of my church in South Africa exceeds the sacrifice of the strange Mount Moriah, my church will not retain it, will not regain its glory. Do you know how they fast there? Do you know the sacrifices they do? Human sacrifices? Ritual sacrifices? Do you know? Do you know how much? Do you know the sacrifices that they do in the kingdom of darkness to get power, to maintain position and stature? You cannot. Jesus fasted for 40 days. He had no sin. He didn't commit sin. Yet he fasted for 40 days. So you that has sin. You that is not near Jesus, you even need to fast more. If the one that was sinless had to fast in order to be properly configured for what he was going to carry, how much more you and I that we need even to fast, even sacrifice. We are going to pray, Father, grace, grace to, to start and to finish. Grace to start and to finish. And Lord, as I throw out this fast, help me to go from glory to glory. Help me to go from power to power. Help me to grow from revelation to revelation. Help me to grow from stature to stature. I don't want to remain the same. I don't want to do this fast and this 53 days and remain the same. I want, I, you know that we said the minimum you can do is 10 days. If you want to do the minimum, you will also get minimum blessing. You cannot do 10 days fast. And get the same blessing with somebody who did 53 days fast. Or somebody who did 21 days. You can't. Hallelujah. Me, I don't want anybody. When God is looking at. The Bible says what you sow, you shall reap. When God looks at the 53 days of this fast. And visits everybody's works. And visit the amount of time you spent in prayer. The amount of time you spent in his word. The amount of time you spent in meditation. The amount of time you spent doing his. You just like that. Ah, your bow is very little. This one. You cannot get the same reward. Let us pray for grace to start and to finish. And grace to do well during the fast. Grace not to be distracted. Grace to grow in, in strength, in stature. Grace to be effective in this fast. Some people's fasts are not effective. But I want an effective fast. And whatever it means, Father, give me the grace. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We know that you are mindful 
of our works. I come to pray. Give me grace to start this fast and to end it well. Grace, my Father, to be effective. Grace not to abandon. Grace not to jump out. Grace not to fall out. Grace, my Father, to go from strength to strength. Grace to appear before you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Grace to rise. Grace to be effective in this fast. Grace, my Father, oh God, to be capacitated in this fast. Grace, my Father, to meet the mark. Grace, my Father, to meet the mark. Grace, my Father, to hit the standard. Grace, oh God, to be able to accomplish everything that you have set for me throughout this fast. Grace to be activated. Grace to come into the dimension that you have prepared for me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this fast is a challenge. This fast is a challenge. This fast is a challenge for history makers. This fast is a challenge for get lifters. This, this fast is a challenge. You you can't afford to be left behind. You can't afford to be in the minimum. You can't afford to give your list. No. Yakadala, Mokroboza, Mekleteya, Kondo Blaga, Krando Sigla, Nibrogada, Masklodoya, Rikagado Sela, Hiklodos Kopandeya, Higada Basikeya. My Father, I pray for grace. I pray for grace. I pray for grace. In the name of Jesus, grace, oh God. Grace for these 53 days. Grace, my Father, oh God, not to lose momentum. Grace, my Father, oh God, to be effective. Grace, my Father, to take the buses. Grace, my Father, to come into the stature. Grace, my Father, to receive power. Grace, my Father, to manage, oh God, that which you are releasing in us in these 53 days. Grace, oh God, to, to soar like eagles. Grace, oh God. Grace. Grace, 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 grace. In the name of Jesus, we pray for grace. We pray for grace. We pray for grace. In these three days, Cain de Lemaka, Rika do Sokane, Hikle de Baroka, Zikla do Shkapondo, Zomble Gedoria. Father, we thank you for grace. Father, we thank you for grace for these 53 days to do, O oh God, excellently, to do, my Father, exceedingly more, O oh God, than we have ever done before. In the name of Jesus, grace not to die while fasting. Grace not to foresee it while fasting. Grace to escape every temptation while fasting. Grace to overcome distraction while fasting. Grace to focus in the name of Jesus in this fast. Grace, my Father, O oh God. Grace, grace, grace. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. How many more minutes do we have? Naked Halama. So Hallelujah. We're going to pray that in this 20, 53 days of fasting, that the Lord will cause us to come to the mountain of the Lord. Hey, the mountain of the Lord. There are mountains in the realm of the Spirit. That in this 53 days, God will bring us to His mountain. His mountain of power, his mountain of encounter, his mountain where we are going to receive from the hand of God, that will help us to go and take nations, that will help us to go and bring nations and territories into kingdom advancement. That it, the first thing that God is looking for in this fast is people. Let me say this again. The first thing that God is looking for in these people, in this fast, is what? People. Because without people, nations, God cannot do his work in nations. The first target is people. When God, God could not take Egypt without people. Moses, God could not start Israel without Abraham. It's people. People are God's first priority. So you must understand that even though we are praying for the nation, without people, it is nothing. So you are going to make spring. My father, bring me to your mountain. Help me to be one of the people that you reap in this fast. Help me to be one of the people that you encounter. I mean, even though there were prophecies to be fulfilled on the day of Pentecost, if God didn't have Peter, if God didn't have John, if God didn't have uh, all those men that he used, Pentecost would have been nothing. Hallelujah! Pentecost would have been nothing without people. So you are going to pray. Father, bring me to your mountain. Help me to be one of the people that you upgrade. Help me to be one of the people 
that you bring to a dimension of your spirit that you will capacitate, that you will anoint, that you will release through this fast. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to cry out, oh God. We cry out that you will help us to come to the mountain. We come to the mountain, the mountain of the Lord, the mountain of encounter, the mountain of transfiguration. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the mountain, the mountain of power. In the name of Jesus, Lord, on this fast, we pray that you bring us to that mountain. I pray for everyone that you have appointed, those that you have written their names in, that through this fast, you will meet them. Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone that you have called, that everyone that you have called, that everyone that you have appointed, everyone that you have listed, that through this fast, that you will come, oh God, to that encounter with them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may God do that. May God do that. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, in this fast, you are looking for people. In this fast, you want to encounter people. In this fast, you want to pour out your spirit upon your people. You said, I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit upon the young, upon the old, upon men, upon women. My father, we pray, oh God, that through the outpouring of your spirit, let your people come into that encounter. Let your people come into that court. Let your people come into that place. My father, where they will meet you, where they will meet with you, where they will become a different man, a different woman, ready, my father, oh God, for the work. Kedebaza, Koroboseka, Rekle de Baguria, Ibarra Sakando, Black Rotos Catelo, Zoom Bleketa Yema, Zibro Koto Yama, Rekeke de Bazuka, Riga Gato Zogodaya, Reko Bozo Glodo Yama, Hele de Bassa, Reko Baliga Duya, Eklotos Capando, Zugle Bora, Rika Catose, Leto Bleketa, Riga Gadayama, Eke de Bassa, Mokoko, Rekata, Masole, Reke. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we cry out, Father, we cry out for that encounter, Father, we cry out for that feeling, Father, we cry out in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, on the bed, in the car, in the kitchen, we pray in the name of Jesus that your voice will find your people in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, that day you were looking for Gideon, Lord God, there are Gideons that that you are going to encounter in this fast. There are Gideons that will be sent to nations in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. There are people that God is looking for through this fast. God was looking for Gideon. Gideon never thought he was a candidate that God will use to liberate the nation. But God found him. God was looking for Moses. There are people God is looking for. This fast. This fast. May God find you. Amen. May God find you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God was looking for Gideon. God was looking for Moses. God was looking for Saul. Paul. God was looking for David. He said, I look to find a man whose heart is perfect. I look to find someone that I will use to stand in the gap. God is looking for men, looking for women. God has names. Angels are coming to places. Use this fast to say, Father, may I be found by hand, by the hand of God. May I be found by the Spirit of God. May I be found by God through this 53 days fast. May I be found. God was looking for Peter. He found Peter. There are men, all the people you see in the Bible that fulfill destiny. God looked for them. They were all lost. All of us were once lost. But God found us in salvation. But after he has found you in salvation, he needs to find you in another dimension. You say, I want to be found. My father, in these 53 days, I want to be found. I want to be found by your hand. I want to be found by your power. I want to be found by your spirit. I want to be found by your angels. Angels are coming to your house. One of the visions I saw as we were praying, I saw angels coming to houses 
opening the doors. Some people, the doors in your house have been locked. Angels are coming to open the doors so that the rain of God can come in, so that the blessing of God can come in, so that the spirit of Pentecost can come in, the spirit of Passover can come in into your house so that that house can be habitable so that that house can become the gate of heaven so that that house can become an extension of what god is doing in this nation in this pentecost to pa pa pass over to pentecost angels are coming to your house i need you to stand and say father i my doors are open i decree these gates are open for the reign of god for the angel of god for the pentecost of god for the passover of god lord i pray come in to this house do not pass by come in in the name of the lord jesus make this your habitation make this your camp of angels make this your dwelling place in this pentecost in this passover let this be a place my father where the rushing wind of god will come where the river of god will come where the rain of god will come where the presence of god will come let my house become a place that is known for the house of god for the presence of god for the gate of heaven God is looking for houses. God is looking for men. God is looking for women. God is looking for families that he can tabernacle with. In this Passover, Amen. make sure your home is a conducive place. Stop the bickering. Stop the complaining. Stop the murmuring. Put food aside. And say, Lord, we'll make room for you to come. We'll make room for you to come. We receive you in this Passover. We receive you from this Passover. It begins with Passover before Pentecost. And Passover is about freedom. Passover is about liberty. Passover is about deliverance. Are you listening? So press in first for Passover before we come to Pentecost. Press in first for Passover before we come to Pentecost. Press in for deliverance. Pressing for liberty, pressing for freedom, pressing for release of your voice, the release of your life, the release of your hand, the release of your marriage, the release of your head. Pressing for a release before the feeling. Pressing for a release of your resources. Pressing for a release of your womb. Pressing for a release of your heart. Pressing for a release of your life. Pressing for a release. He released them. He brought them in. He brought them out before he he brought them in. He brought them out before he brought them in. So let's focus first on the benefit of Passover before we press in to Pentecost. They are two different things. They speak to two different things. And it's important. My battery is saying battery low. I'll round up. Hallelujah. So we don't they get cut off. Uh, hallelujah. So we need to make sure we are pressing in first for Passover in these days until the resurrection, and then we'll be no pressing for the preparation of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Not just us, but our homes. Open for Passover. In the name of Jesus. Ah! We are praying in my Father that you will not pass us by at this Passover. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there are things that need to be evicted from our homes. There are things that need to be evicted from our lives. There are things attached to some people that needs to be cut off. Cut off. There are some things attached to you. Sickness. Lord, whatever is attached to me, we need to pray that prayer. Whatever is attached to me, whether it's sickness, whether it's a spirit, you know the spirit of death can be attached to somebody for years until he is able to kill them. Do you know the spirit of sickness can be attached to somebody? Do you know that a spirit can be attached to somebody waiting to fully take them over? You, you're going to pray. This Passover is freedom. This Passover, do you know that spirit of anger? You are just angry. You are angry. Angry for no reason. You cannot justify why you are angry at your spouse, why you are angry at your wife, why you are angry at your husband, why you are angry at your children, why you are angry at your workers, why you are angry at your colleague, why you are angry at your pastor, why you are angry at your father, why you are angry at your mother, why you are angry at your relatives. You are just angry. 
It's a spirit of anger attached to you. You need to pray. My father, at this Passover, I want freedom. Everything attached to me that does not allow me to reflect the image and likeness of God, that does not allow me to reflect who I am called in Christ. I'm falling sick every moment. Spending more money in hospital than I, than I spend in investments. My father, at this Passover, visit me. Cut off whatever the enemy has attached to me that follows me around. Let us pray that prayer before we take communion. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to cry out this Passover for, for deliverance, Passover for salvation, Passover for salvation for our unsaved relatives. We come to pray at this Passover, deliverance from sicknesses, blood sicknesses, whatever sicknesses, my Father, oh God, that have been plaguing us, plaguing our children, plaguing our spouses, plaguing our family. My Father, at this Passover, we come to ask you, oh God, to separate us. At this Passover, we come to ask you, we are pressing in. We are pressing in for deliverance. We are pressing in for freedom. We are pressing in for release. Release us. Release us from captivity. Whatever it is that has held us captive, whatever it is that has held our gate, held our family, held our children, held our lives, oh God, this Passover, you delivered your people. You delivered them from oppression. The Bible said that he delivered us from, you see, he delivered his children from the phone. I need to continue for a while. Make it a Pressing for deliverance from witchcraft. Pressing for deliverance from oppression. My father, we cry out in this Passover. In this Passover, we cry out for deliverance. We cry out for deliverance from territorial deliverance. We cry out. In the name of Jesus, somebody cry out, Father, deliver me, O oh God, from every oppression. You can't sleep at night. You are sexually abused when you sleep. You cannot sleep. You are oppressed. You are beaten blue black. My Father, at this Passover, cut off the hands, cut off the evil visitation. At this Passover, we cry out, remove oppression, remove burdens. In the name of Jesus, Passover is freedom. Passover is deliverance. Passover. We cry out in this Passover. My Father, oh God, let your hand, let your sword cut away from us. Everything attached, cut off death, cut off affliction, cut off sickness, cut off in the name of Jesus. This Passover is your Passover of deliverance. This Passover is your Passover of healing. This Passover is your Passover of release. Release from one level that you have been. Release from oppression. This Passover is your Passover of encounter. This Passover is your Passover of freedom. This Passover is your Passover of freedom. This Passover, whatever it is that the enemy has held, down in your life. This Passover is the Passover to cry out for a release from every oppression, from every wickedness, from every captivity. My Father, this Passover, we cry out in the name of Jesus. Release your people so that you can release your nation. Release your people. Let this freedom start in the house of God. Let this freedom start with the people of God before it comes to the nation. Let this freedom start, my Father, oh God, with your people in the name of the Lord Jesus. God wants to release someone. God wants to release someone. Passover is freedom. Passover is deliverance. Whatever affliction, whatever spirit, whatever it is that has held you down, held your feet, held your hands, held your mind, held your womb, held your health, held your finances, held your marriage in the name of Jesus. In this Passover, I decree and I declare the liberty of the spirit by this Passover. I decree your release from every witchcraft from every prison, from every marine altar, this Passover, I come to decree your liberty in the name of Jesus. I decree your healing at this Passover in the name of Jesus. Passover is deliverance. Passover is deliverance. I pray that in this Passover, you will 
experience the spirit of Passover, not just the letter of Passover, the spirit of Passover, not just the letter of Passover, the spirit of Passover, not just the letter of Passover. In the name of Jesus, a Passover with a difference, Passover with a difference, Passover with a difference. He took away your sickness, he took away your infirmity, he took away all of the depths, whatever it is, whether it's generational, whether it's bloodline, this Passover, we come to pray in the name of Jesus. The freedom that comes from the Lord, for the deliverance that comes, the healing, the peace. Passover is the portal of freedom and deliverance. You need to hold it. You need to press it. You need to, the Bible said, the violet, they carry by force. You need to take that which God has given to you by force in this Passover so that God can set you free. And with you, the nation will experience a greater visitation. Father, we thank you. We come to the table of the Lord. Please bring your communion. Your communion. Come and take, come and share, give communion to the people. Take communion. Everybody come and take communion. Hallelujah. Please just come and take communion. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come to the table of the blessings of the blood. A carrier, the blood of the Passover. The blood of the Passover. A carrier, the blood of the Passover. The blood of the Passover. The Bible says, Mm. At Passover, there must be a release. At Passover, there must be a release. Yes, Lord. This Passover, we come to pray for a release. We come to pray for a release. Release of our lives, of our inheritance, of our families, release of our nations, of our territories, release of our inheritance, of our voices, of our calling, release of our reign, release, release. Lord, we bring the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood that, that, that ushered us into the freedom. The blood that speaks our freedom. Lord, every communion element presented by your people, I come to redeem them. I decree them holy and sanctified. I decree and I declare the Lordship of the Lord Jesus over these communion elements. Father, as we partake of this communion, we come to draw strength. We come to draw strength. We come to draw edification. We come to draw sanctification. We come to pray, my Father, the blood that will speak freedom. We come to pray that the blood that will speak release. We come to pray, pray that the blood that will declare salvation in the name of Jesus. That as we partake of this communion, let the voice of the blood of Jesus, my Father, speak into the atmosphere, speak into the heavens, speak into the waters, speak into the land, and everything that's in the land, graves, trees, altars, Codrums, speak into my father, mountains, everything that's in the mountain, everything that's in the heavens, everything that's in the water, my father, stars, moon, sun, planets, oh God, let the blood of Jesus begin to speak our release, speak our freedom, speak our deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my father, as we partake of this communion, we come to pray for a shaking, oh God, the shaking of Passover, the same shaking that you did, my father, when you released Israel from Egypt, the same shaking you did when Jesus was on the cross, my father, oh God, when his blood began to shake the graves, when his blood began to shake, rocks were rendered. We come to pray, my father, let the rocks that are in the hearts of men be rendered. Let every rock that has been set against us be rendered at this Passover. We come to pray for a visitation. We come to pray for an impartation. We come to pray, my father, oh God, that your spirit will rend the heavens, yeah. rend the waters, rend the mountains, rend the land, rend the graves, rend stronghold, rend our bodies, rend our spirit open for the voice of God, for the work that the blood of Jesus that gives life can do. Thank you, Father. Let curses, my Father, be overturned. We raise up an altar of the cross. The Bible says, curse is here that hangs on the cross, that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles. We come to through this communion, raise up an altar of the cross to swallow every curse spoken against us, spoken against our gate, spoken against our marriages, spoken against our health, spoken against our children, spoken against our hands, spoken against our nation, spoken against South Africa. Whatever curse spoken over the water, spoken over the land, spoken against your church, we come to raise the cross of Jesus to be no cut off the curses, to be no overturn curses, swallow up the curses, and let the blessings, my Father, of this Passover, let it come upon us. Let it abide with us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Let's break. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, 
you, Lord Jesus. Let's partake. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise in Jesus' precious name. That is the historic first day of these 53 days of our Pente Passover to Pentecost fast. The prayer for the rain. The prayer for the rain. Hallelujah. The rains of God is about to hit this land. And I believe that you are going to be a part of the history makers of this great move of God. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. I want to encourage you, 12 midnight, get up and pray. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that before you join this prayer, make sure you have prayed at least one hour, at least a minimum of one hour on your own. By the time you are coming to this prayer, you are coming in with a momentum of prayer. Even if it's your break time, in these 53 days, let your break time become prayer time. We are already fasting. Make it, don't make it work time. The Bible said it's time for everything. Make your work, take one hour lunch for prayer. Throughout this fasting, you are plugging into the spirit. You are plugging into the realm of power. Angels will meet you in that place. The power of God will come upon that, upon that office, upon that ground. If you are working from home, make sure that you are praying at least an hour or more. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Hope to meet with you again tomorrow. We're going to have different people leading. Tomorrow, Pastor Pearl is going to be leading. Next day, Not is going to be leading. But different people are going to be leading. Some people will connect from, with Zoom from different parts of the world who, have been, who are going to be praying with us in these 53 days. You're going to have impartation super. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.